This is chapter number two, Web Services, class nine, computer science. We are taking question and answer. Name these sites used for e shopping. Shopping online or shopping on internet is e shopping, electronic shopping. So, previously, what we used to do, we have to go to the shop. If it is uh, near to your house, it is okay. Otherwise, you have to go outside some some big place. Okay, maybe uh, flip yeah, Walmart or etc. Freshco. Now in e-shopping, now you just have to open the app on mobile, and then just type. You will get certain options. Basis of your relevance, just order it, do the payment, and it will be delivered. At your doorstep. For example, Amazon, Paytm, Flipkart, Zoe, AliExpress, Snapdeal, eBay. There are so many. Today, we have so many e shopping websites and the apps. What is the difference between the chatting and video conferencing? So, the difference between chatting and uh, video conferencing has, has uh, diminished. But still, as it started, we know the difference between them. Chatting is basically texting. Like you open, say, for example, let's take WhatsApp. So, what do you do? You will write something to the person who is added to your list as a friend. Then you will uh, get the reply. So, the text passing is basically chatting. Now, if you go ahead, I'm talking about uh, WhatsApp. Now, you can have everything here you can have everything here that is video audio everything here but chatting essentially stands for texting text sending text so chatting generally is done when the internet connection is uh, of moderate level i'm not uh, you know taking to your previous time 2g 3g okay but now we are at 4.5g we will be getting 5g, 5g technologies are already in some places so, if the internet connection is good, then there is no need to chat if you want. You have good data connection, why not to do video conferencing? That is now, you have Zoom, Microsoft uh, also has its products. So, people will, uh, and not only one, you can do video conferencing as a meeting. That is, you will see the person, you will talk to the person live. And that is how that you are just standing in front. This is the video conferencing. For that, you need a video camera that is webcam basically. And then you need to have some audio device that is already embedded in your device normally. So, this is video conferencing. So, there are certain points you need to understand. You send text in chatting. You can send emojis like you are you know, happy or not happy. Video conference, you can exchange text. It's not that you cannot exchange text, but video conferencing is not about text. It's about uh, talking in front. So, video conference, because you see people, it's real life uh, expression, like two people are together. Okay? Caller and receiver both are seen. Video in chatting, you cannot share your screen. Video conference, you can share the screen. You can uh, go work on another screen so chatting is not an alternative for calling but video conference is an alternative to calling because calling means you are dialing the number and calling but video conference when you are talking in front what is the point in calling then there is more than calling so there are so many things which are given here which you can add if you want to increase the length of your answer how is e-learning beneficial for a learner so, e-learning is beneficial, especially in the today's times. E-learning, electronic learning. Teacher is there, student is there. Now, teacher and student. We are talking about student as a learner. Okay. A teacher can be also a learner if he is or she is doing some training. So, you can arrange the time. Class work can be scheduled around work and family. If you want to go to school 8 o'clock and if you are not able to reach at 8.15, there will be a problem. But here it is not a problem. 
school the teacher has to go the student has to go the everyone has to go but you don't need to go in e learning travel time is less means travel time is zero now travel cost is zero it reduces it uh, eventually now students can have different options different materials which is available to him it can be online learning it can be offline learning so which moderate level well you know best level advanced level whichever material or the way of learning you want you can learn if you have smartphone you have a laptop just you can be a student anywhere you can learn and the pace is also there that is some discussion is going on and you are not a part and half hour has gone now you can enter within also you can also talk to your uh, fellow students if you have any problem or discussion and there are different styles learning styles because see if a teacher is teaching every teach teacher has a different style but it can be helped or you can say ad added by different type of content you can be providing or you will be getting online and also a person a, a student if he has to learn internet as computer skills so these are advanced his skills are advanced mention few advantages and disadvantages of social networking so right now social networking so man it is man is a social element so what do you do whenever you go outside you say hey hi how are you you will talk to everyone you will you will uh, say regards to everyone or say hello and someone is your friend you will stand and talk so these when your friend's friend is becoming your friend your friend's friend is also becoming your friend so there is a network proper so you have a network of friendship you have a network of family you have a network for becoming you know talking to people because no one can be aloof everyone has to talk so we are social animal and also we are dependent on one another for our for our purpose for different activities so facebook has actually changed it when it came uh, it's all started with orkut but uh, orkut you know previously it was also social networking everyone was finding their friends but facebook came and you people who were with you for you know 20 years back they are also being found and they are you know friend you are friends so orkut just orkut just uh, you know facebook took over orkut all over and then came instagram and there's so many you know i'm just naming few of them there are so many i'm i'm naming because you know it so advantage of social work, uh, networking people can connect from anywhere in the world with internet connection anywhere any time your your friend may be in america he may be in some australia you can share your ideas activities events interests what is going on in your, in your life you all can so can know what is going on in their life all over the world so social media influencers are there now people will tell you that what to do what not to do okay so this is how the things have come up individual can share text information you can share photos you can share data files you can share videos right so even videos i'm just cutting even because videos are all over now and also in this instagram and then all these fbs you can do the business activity because business is all over so business activity you can do okay so people would come you can influence them you can advertise your product you can buy the product so this is how and you know influencers i was telling they also advertise but the disadvantage is that people are wasting their time means they are not just looking at social networking sites they are on social networking site every time you you can't eat uh, bread on on social network you have to earn it for that you have to prepare yourself to you have to you have to get trained people get addicted a, a person a, a kid was playing game and he was so much addicted to the game and the social website finally he got paralyzed and he can't even stand now so this addiction is always bad so this uh, this is a disadvantage and distraction from real world see we live in a world where we have our wife our kids our parents our friends people don't talk to their friends if they are sitting them so it is sitting with them or your family members they they go on, on mobile they are checking their mobile they are sending the text they are talking 
real world is what is your family is your loved ones is your lover these are real world and there are so many people who are misusing this uh, this social network they are fraud people they are they are uh, looting people using this uh, social networking sites okay what are the advantages and disadvantages of video conferencing see what is my my opinion is video conferencing is advantages and advantages what are the advantages first of all people would go to different places for a meeting just for one hour meeting they will take a flight they will go you know book a hotel stay there spend money so for two for two or one hour of meeting they spend two two days you know you can say that the economy goes like this only but still when it is not required where to go so reduction in the traveling cost that is if you are on a computer other one is on your computer or a smartphone you can just talk like this that you are sitting together so productivity is increased because if you have any problem you can just connect and it's just live you can just talk to a person that he is just next standing next to you so this is the increased productivity scenario going green see whenever you travel you are you are especially the air travel is all about uh, global warming it has lot of carbon footprint so the video conferencing we are minimizing the petrol use fuel use everything you are going green actually on online learning you are not using papers now so paper you are cutting trees for that so you are going green you are not traveling you are you are trying to minimize those things which are making your world warm now disadvantages of video conferencing is technical issue previously it was really an issue because if the internet connection is not good but now we are at 4.5 5g connection you know all the services which we are getting especially in india i am talking about jio has changed it has provided you it has given you free data for 3 months and now people are addicted addicted to this data 1.5 gb 2 gb are getting every day and most of the mobile uh, provide mobile service provider they are giving it to you but the technical issue if you are living in remote then it can be an issue lack of personal contact see as i said earlier that a person is human being is a social animal they love they they, they care they have feelings emotion and that cannot be on video conferencing how can you show your love to your kid you need to kiss him you need to grab him you need to hug him so there is a lack of personal contact here how is twitter different from the facebook now twitter and facebook they have, they were developed for a different task let me give you an idea first social network uh, connecting friends and family by long shared status update photo videos and even has instant chat and email in facebook so friends book facebook and twitter means it's a social network it's a micro blogging basically you update your status text sharing up to 440 characters and this, that is called a tweet and you can include images text and links and videos also now so facebook is a way ahead than twitter but now the twitter twitter is gaining up they are almost similar now they are big giant companies now so these are all they are almost uh, you know launched 2002 2004 2006 so donald trump if you see he ha he became uh, the the head of a country by twitter people are saying that that is he was uh, tweeting and people are following him so basically in facebook is networking people and twitter is about networking ideas giving ideas thoughts and people follow you and they they are waiting for your ideas so this sharing sharing is quite high as as facebook is concerned and also tweets are also going you know it's being shared there are trends also so most of the people uh, say are in on facebook 35 and older but 55% of user are 35 and older in twitter and male female is almost similar are almost almost similar 44% male and 60% female so twitter and facebook are different platforms Twitter is a micro blogging category and Facebook is social networking okay 
So Twitter lets you share your ideas to the world. But Facebook, you are you have friends, you are you know chatting with them, you are talking with them, you are sharing your content, they are liking it. So whatever you share, people would love it. They will they will in Twitter is people are following you. So sometimes you tweet and sometimes people don't like it, sometimes people may like it. So this is how Twitter goes. Facebook also, you know, yeah, actually politics all is going on right now. There are so many things which are going on, but they are for good purpose. If they were invented or they were developed for a good purpose. Okay, this is all about this discussion. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.